Hello, this is Dr. Dave Gatros, and we're looking at our TAR command today, Tape Archive for COP 3353 Unix. Now, of course, to get help on any command, you type man, or any command, type man, and then the command itself, bring up TAR. Very uh, um, sparse help page for TAR. It's very complex, but the things that we generally use on it are very simple, which is what I'm going to try to show you today. Okay, let's quit that and clear the page. Well, again, what TAR does is it takes a group of files and packages them into one file. There's also a compression option, which we'll talk about here in a little bit. The simplest version of the TAR file is this. And we're going to say TAR and CVF for create for both file. The F must go on the end because um, we want to tell it the file to create. We're going to give it a name, sample scripts.tar. You have to put the extension on there. And we want to save all of the shell scripts inside this directory. The verbose is actually going to print out the ones that we actually put in there. It's very quick. This creates the file sample scripts.tar and you can see it over there to the right. Well let's put it into a temporary directory. I'm going to move it into one a little bit uh, down and uh, we're going to unpack it in there. So we're going to um, copy it's uh, copy, okay, sample scripts.tar into temp, and we're going to go down into temp, okay, and there it is. Now I'm going to unpack it, or I'm going to expand it as soon as I can say tar, and that's the X option. You'll notice I leave the dash off, you can do that. F, the F comes last, sample scripts tar. Now you notice I don't have to list any files or tell it which files to. I can tell and I'll show you that later, but it knows what files are inside of it. So when I do this, it just expands them and there they are. Very good. Okay. Let me remove this and remove, get rid of that so we can redo it. Okay. So here I've got my sample scripts.tar. Let me just show you the other options. I can actually uh, determine what's inside of them by using the T option. Notice I leave the uh, V off and I have to use the F. Again the F says give me the file of the tar file you want to work with or create and there it lists the uh, files themselves. Well very good. Alright. Well, that's the most straightforward way of creating a tar file. Uh, I'm going to remove it here. We're going to do it again several times. Uh, but let's say I want to do a little bit more. Let's say I want to compress them. I want to make the file smaller and use one of the compression algorithms. There's two types of compression algorithms. There's a GZ and there's a BZ2 format. And I'll show you both of them. The first one is the GZ format and we do our C, dash C, V, and I put a Z option in there before the F. The Z is the GZ option and then I give it the name of the file. Sample scripts.tar.gz. Be sure and put the .gz extension on there. And of course I want to do the the uh, shell files here. And there it is. Now that compresses the files. Okay. Uh, I can also create one called a BZ2. The BZ2 format uh, takes a little bit longer. You're going to see a slight more hesitation in here. But it produces a smaller file. Okay. And that is a dash CJ um, or VJF. And the uh, again the the V and the J, the C are interchangeable. The F must come last. Sample scripts dot tar dot bz2 is the extension on that one you want to use. And again, we use the dot and dot sh. Okay, so then we have those files in there. They're extracted the same way. Okay, so let me uh, copy one of them in there, and I'll give you the example of how to do one of them. The other one's very similar. So I'll copy sample scripts.tar. Uh, we'll put gz into temp. Okay, and we'll go into temp. Now to extract them, we use the tar. Okay, dash x. You don't have to put the dash. Dash x v, and this one is a z and f. Sample scripts.tar.gz, and you'll see it, it pulls those out. Now notice here the option of the z up there for the um, the uh, gzip files. It would be J for the BZ2 files. It works exactly the same way. Don't really see a need in the explaining that. 
Okay. Um, a few tricks. Okay. Okay. Let me remove these here. And let me go ahead and remove the, uh, um, the files up here. We want to recreate a few more. Be, be careful of uh, the remove command. It's kind of permanent. Okay, clear. All right, very good. Now, you'll notice that I, when I created the tar file, tar-cvf sample scripts uh, tar, okay, at this particular point, so it's expecting me to put in which directory or which files to put in there. If I just do an asterisk, okay, what it's going to do is it's going to not only tar all the files in this directory, it's going to tar all the files in any subdirectory also. You may or may not want to do that. Okay, If you want to do this directory only, then you can put a period. Now when you do that, I'm going to show you the um, uh, consequences of that. You'll notice too that um, that the uh, what it does is it puts a dot slash in front of the file name, so that if I want to extract it, all right, I have to be sure to include that. And let me show you what I mean by extract it. Clear. Okay. Okay. There's my tar file, and I'll copy the file into sample script. Copy sample, excuse me, rips.tar into temp, okay, cd temp. All right, so there it is. So what I can do is I want to extract a file. I can extract one, okay. So let me show you how to do that. Tar, okay, dash xvf, okay, sample scripts.tar. Now I have to include the da dot slash, let's say, adder.sh okay and you'll see that it pulls the adder.sh out if I didn't put the period dash slash in front of it it wouldn't recognize it so that's one of the problems okay let me remove that okay um there's a another way to do it and I'll show you that okay tar um, if I want to have the name of the directory what I can do is this. I can say, uh, and I don't want to do all the subdirectories, I can say tar uh, cvf and I can say dot dot slash okay asterisk okay. Uh, in other words go up a directory and come down and say sample scripts okay. So what it's going to do is it's going to go up a directory and it's going to come back down and find this directory which is called sample scripts and tile all of the files in front of it. Let me go ahead and put this sample scripts dot tar. So you see that? And that's the command right there. Again, what it's going to do is it's going to go up a directory, find this particular directory, and tar it. All right. And that works. If I got it right. There it goes. Okay, very good. Now you'll notice too that what it did was it put the dot dot slash sample scripts in front of the file name. Again, you've got to remember that whenever you're addressing this, that whenever you expand them, it's going to put that as part of the file name. So that can be a good thing or a bad thing. Okay. Let me clear that out and remove the tar file again. I'm just going to create a uh, the simple tar file. Tar uh, CVF sample scripts. Okay, dot tar, and we're just going to do the sh. Okay, there we go. Clear. Now then, interesting. Let me show you how to add uh, or pin a file to it. I'm going to say tar. Okay. Uh, dash r v f r for uh, it really means a pin or add to it. Samples scripts. Dot tar, and I'm going to give it a file that uh, is not in there, which is date.in. And you'll see that there it is, it's the date.in file. Okay. To prove that, I'm going to go back and list it. And you'll see the date.in is uh, in there. It actually puts it in the end. Let's say I want to delete it. Okay. Well, I do a tar. Okay. Dash the delete. Okay. Um, F 
example, scripts.tar, and then I give it the file I want to delete, date.in. And, whoops, I'm going to put two da dashes in front of that. Okay. Okay, very good. There it is. Now I do my listing. Okay, and you'll see date.in is not in there. I can also update it. Let me go back and add it. Okay. Okay, let me add it. And let me go in and edit the file, date.in. And let me change it. I'm using a, a Pico editor here. Okay. Now I'm going to update it. Okay. Tar dash U F sample scripts dot tar and then date.in. And what it does is it replaces the file that's in there with this one in it. Alright, well that's a very, very quick and easy look at uh, uh, TAR. I'll ask you to practice this. Uh, go through this as many times as you think you need to. Uh, get very good at being able to create uh, basic TAR files, extract them, uh, compress them using either uh, the GZ or the BZ2, and then to uh, add, delete, and update uh, files into them. And hope you enjoyed this and look forward to making the next one.